Storms are not the only thing that come with the end of summer. Copperhead snakes popping up across yards across the Houston area. Yeah, and for families with children and or small dogs, knowing copperheads are around, that's a pretty scary thought. KPRC 2's Danielle Grossman is live in Sugar Land with that story all new at 6. And Danielle, copperheads are venomous. Oh yeah, they're very venomous and they can be scary indeed. This is what you want to look for when you see a snake in your yard or anywhere. There may be small children. There's a little Hershey kiss design on the snake's skin. That's how you know it's venomous and to stay away from it. Right now, these snakes are actually having their babies litters, 10 to even 20 snakes at a time. And to be careful because even if you're a pet owner, even if you have kids or you're an adult, it can send you to the hospital. I'm scared. Of these, copperhead snakes are out. Hey, buddy. And Woodlands residents like Amy Caulfield says she's on high alert. Her name is Janice. She is simply a long-haired miniature dachshund. And Theo is, he is a silky wire hair. Her dogs are her everything. And after they saw a copperhead in her yard, she's taking extra steps to protect them. If I'm out here and it's dark, I absolutely will not let them go any further than this little area. It's the swelling going to cut off any breathing. According to Clint Postiofsky, a local snake expert, snakes are not usually out in the summer, except for copperheads. When you think about it, they could be anywhere. When the cicadas or locusts are out, so are they. That's their candy. That's their favorite food. But it's not just small animals you need to worry about. I've had women tell me it's more painful than childbirth. And so, yeah, that gets your attention. And according to Clint, stepping on a copperhead is the worst thing you can do. Copperheads are very well known for doing a back bend and stabbing you with their fangs. So for residents like Amy, she'll continue to do what she can to make sure Janice and Theo don't fall victim this summer. It is something that every single time around this time, I have to be very, very vigilant. Now you want to make sure when you do see one of these snakes, you take three big steps backwards and walk away. Do not approach that snake, of course. Another thing you can do to deter them is to put mulch down that has a special ingredient in it to deter them. We have that on our website, click2houston.com. And of course, if you get bit by one of these snakes, the animals, a few thousand dollars. If you're an adult or even a child, it could be in the tens of thousands of dollars to get treatment. In Sugarland, Danielle Grossman, KPRC 2 News. All right, some helpful information there, Danielle. Thank you.